on the point about uh, CPF and uh, nomination, uh, Chiwi, your company is coming up with a new product that I'm interested to subscribe to, um, nominating my CPF into a trust directly, should anything happen to me. Can you explain a little bit about that? Yeah, so like uh, what we said, people are going to be leaving quite a bit of money in the CPF accounts. Uh, the fact is that you cannot will away your CPF monies. You have to do it by way of the CPF nomination. The CPF board has done a marvelous job by uh, facilitating a, a means to do it digitally. Uh, and we have uh, come up with a digital trust solution to allow people who may want the monies to be nominated into a trust. And the trustee could be someone they want to uh, uh, appoint as the executor and trustee of their will. So the same person who is the executor and trustee of the will may also be appointed as a trustee to receive the CPF money should they pass on. What's right? the benefit in doing that, uh, Chibi? Well, it's for protection of the money. So, I mean, there, there was this uh, case whereby the account holder who had died, she nominated her sister to be the nominee of the CPF monies. But what happened was that when the account holder died, the sister was uh, undischarged bankrupt. So the monies, which was about hundred over thousand dollars, instead of going to benefit the sister, instead went to settle the sister's creditors which is ironic because you know, and I know that our CPF monies are safeguarded during our lifetime from any uh, bankruptcy attack, right? It, your HDB home, your CPF monies, during your lifetime, if you were foolish enough to get into a problem and you were sued to your last dollar, they could take everything from you, from your private banking accounts and all that, but it couldn't touch your HDB flat or your CPF monies. But in this case, what happened was that the moment the account holder died, all the money that she left behind became uh, utilized for the settlement of the sister's uh, creditors. But if you have put that money into a trust, instead of going into the direct hands of the sister, then it will have been protected. Yeah, but then the it's sister will still not receive it, right? Well, we can always take the $100,000 as a trustee and give the money in uh, small bits to the sister for her own maintenance.